Hi guys, um, just wanted to, sorry, I'm trying to hold this in video at the same time. Just wanted to give you an update on how I'm doing. Um, I, did, I had surgery um, Monday morning at like probably 8 o'clock and um, I was going to do the gastric bypass but he did the sleeve um, when he got in to do the surgery he found that a hernia that he knew about was a lot larger than he um, expected so he had to repair it um, it was pretty bad and um, the band was placed too low for eight years and um, it cost a lot of scar tissue right where he would have made the pouch for the bypass so he wasn't able to do that he went ahead and did the sleeve and um, you know did that which is fine I'm fine with that um, I think I think I'm just and I might be repeating myself um, but I think the thing that I'm the most concerned about is the weight loss um, and he he assured me that I would lose the same amount of weight. It might be a little slower. It might take two years instead of a year. Um, but I have 140 pounds to lose, which I'm going to um, stay on track and um, eat how I'm supposed to eat. Um, I don't want to do this for nothing. So, um, but I'm fine. I was a little, I was coming out of anesthesia when I found out that um, that I had the sleeve and I was upset. I was really mad and I was not too nice to some of the nursing staff. I was just mad and I was confused and nobody explained why. Um, so he, he came in and, and talked to me and stuff and, um, but I'm doing good. I am probably going home today, this morning sometime. And, um, I'm just in pain when I get up. I'm not in a lot of pain, but when I um, try to get up out of the bed, um, my body is really sore. And I know it's the gas that they air you up with. My shoulders are in a lot of pain, and um, just my whole body's sore from laying in this stupid bed. I'm used to a pillow, or not a pillow top, a, um, a memory foam mattress. So. It's a little different anyway um, but I'm good I feel good um, I'm off my IV morphine uh, they just have me on um, I forget the name of it it's kind of like hydrocodone but um, and so the nurse practitioner um, that works with my doctor, Dr. Simpson. She's really great. She's been in all my surgeries that I've had when I had my lap band taken out and um, this, when I had the sleeve done and everything. And um, she was very encouraging and said, you know, it's, I said, well, I don't, I'm not a big exerciser. I just have never been. And I'm worried that I'm going to have to do a lot more now with the sleeve than I would have with the bypass. And I know that sounds terrible. You still have to work even with the bypass you have to you have to eat right and you can't just sit around and eat crap all day but um she said um you know with the weight loss with the bypass and the sleeve 90 percent of it is your diet 10 percent is maybe exercise so i guess if you want to eat junk and you don't want to follow the diet then um or the rules the lifestyle change then yeah, you would have to work out and do all that, but that's something I'm planning on sticking to. Um, and so anyway, I'm good. I'm just waiting around. Uh, they just brought me breakfast. It's um, like vegetable broth and a jello cup and a Powerade. But I'm good, and um, I can't wait to get home to my husband and my baby girl. I miss them. So I will probably 
we'll probably wait a week. Next Monday, my one week, I'll do um, a video. I just wanted to do a couple while I was in here and let you know how everything's going. It's going really great. I feel good. And um, I'm excited to start this process. I am determined and I think it's going to be good. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.